League of Legends is constantly changing. G2's head coach Grabs talks us through the challenge of the meta. With an ever-changing meta landscape to deal with, esports teams are constantly on the back foot to stay ahead of the game. In this video, G2's head coach Grabs talks us through dealing with the challenge of the League of Legends meta. First off, how does he feel that the rest of 2019 is going to go? That's always a, a hard question to answer because in the end, Riot will decide where the game is going. Right now, 9.3 is coming with new changes to the credit ID carries, which basically could mean that the game is a bit slower now, but that's to be seen yet. In the end, it's going to be a wild ride, but my current players, again, they have a high ability, so therefore I'm not worried about anything that's going to happen. Funnily enough, the preseason didn't change a lot, which is kind of to do the dismay of many people, because then Riot, again, changes a lot during the season, which of course interrupts the, the whole workflow. It seems though that aggressiveness is still rewarded, especially with turret plating now, that um, you can actually accelerate the game a bit easier, because you have more gold influx in the beginning. Grab says reacting with speed is always the most difficult aspect of meta changes, but there are ways of dealing with the hurdles that Riot insist on putting up to keep things entertaining. And that's, that's obviously the hardest part, right? Um, because you have only one week, maybe four days for scrims before a new patch is played on stage. So it's basically players have to grind, which makes League, of course, a really hard game to play on a, on a high level for a long time, because unlike other esports um, or sports in general, you don't keep your skill set if you're like having vacation for a month because the game changes 24-7. So like if every patch, players just have to play a lot more and actually feel the changes during the game. And then afterwards on the coaching staff to make sure that those feelings they have can actually be assembled objectively and they're not taken out of context because of course sometimes a player gets a new champion, loses three, three games and says, oh, it's useless, right? So that's the mix between of the data the players bring in from playing solo queue and then with a the team trying to dissect that and then making sure that we actually get the right conclusions out of it. So that was G2's head coach Grabs on the constant challenge of the meta. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more esports content just like this. If you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.